Okay, so you would use ribbon. Um, and when we move on to the basket arrangements, you'll have different ways to do it. Strings also really good to do uh, attachments and ribbon and also the thin pop tape. So I'm just going to get some thin tape. Find a little bit of the wicker that's there. Because what you don't want to do, the worst thing is, is what some people do is this. Horrible, hideous tape showing, all right? It doesn't look nice. So string's good to do this. Ribbon, but like a green ribbon, so it blends in. This is nice. So I'm finding a little bit of wicker. Threading it through, just doubling it up like that. Did you want some string loose? Bring it just across, a little bit across there actually, I think, yeah. just across to hold it in place really, stop it moving. And then I'm going to just bring this through. Oops. Can you use one of those forks or does that not really? You can as long as it's secured to the bottom of the um, base, like the cellophane. Yeah. But the string works and things like that is quite good. This is quite good because it's sticky, but sometimes a bit trickier to get through the wicker because it's sticky. That's it. Now I've got it going. Just want to hold it in place, but to be honest, everything's going to hold it in place anyway. And then I'm just going to double it back up because it's sticky. We'll just hold in just a little bit of added security. But if you've got packaging there, the packaging's going to hold it in place anyway. So before I do my flowers, I'm going to place in my gift. So I'm going to have my bear. He's going to be sitting, maybe. Oh. He's going to be squashed in. He's going to be going. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have a bit of, of cellophane. Look at his little tail. <laughs> He's going to sit there like that. He's going to hang over the edge a bit. <laughs> okay. I don't think... No, we're not going to have any chocolates. Maybe chocolate's a bit big. Maybe a bottle of champagne is going to hold. I'm not going to do chocolate because my basket's a bit bigger. But he's going to hold a bottle of champagne. And there like that. He's going to cuddle that. Okay. So that's... There. And there's, we can incorporate fabric here to cover that as well. So that's my gifts. Now I'm going to think about bring them up because it's a bit too dirty. Got a little bit of a barrier to the plane. Then I'm going to do like an asymmetrical type design now. So I'm going to come up high and probably out here and a little bit here, but I don't want to hide this. I don't want loads of flowers coming over, but my features here. Okay, so I will just for a second. I'm just going to have it facing me just to start me off. And I'll turn it around. But these leaves are really good that I found, so you can use some of these as well. Think of your visual balance. So obviously this is quite heavy at the bottom, so you don't want your flowers just here. But at the same time, is that visual ba visually balanced? Is that too high? Not too high. It's too high, yeah. isn't it? So it's about, I would say, the width, about the height. So you can come up about here. So this is one, two, three. So about here. Yeah. This is a nice piece of eclipse, actually. So I'm going to use the back part of the foam, all parts of the foam, okay. I'm going to come a bit across with some leaves first. So I'm starting with my height. Now I want to determine what my tip's going to be. So I'm going to come out here a little bit. So making sure that your flowers are flat against your base, you're going to come out to the side. And this is nice because it's got a nice sort of natural so again, horizontal, so you don't want it like flicking up like 